So I'm now printing with the heated bed. The heated bed is working pretty well here. Um, got it on Compton. I didn't need to do anything special to get it to stick. I set the thermistor to uh, 70 degrees centigrade. Um, what you'll see here about the way that this fits together as I as I move is we've got the Capton square on, uh, which is pretty neat. Um, and the bed is actually pretty pretty hot, yes. And then we've got the leads that are sticking out from the back, right? These are the leads stretching out from the back and they are going in through the normal slot. Um, I don't have them anchored to anything. Uh, and in particular, you don't want to anchor them to this tower because this tower is going to go up. So when that tower goes up, um, it will eventually go up high enough that um, you won't be able to stretch the distance from the outlet in the back. Um, I did have to get the new power supply, which means I have an ATX power supply now back here. Um, and this is the ATX power supply that is providing power to the heated bed and the whole um, the whole printer box. I had to get rid of the, sadly, the old compact 12 volt power supply because you can't run the heated bed with that. Fortunately, this ATX power supply is, is pretty quiet. I think one improvement that I'll be able to make with the ATX power supply now is you'll see here that I've got this Raspberry Pi um, here. And this is a interesting setup I've got with the Raspberry Pi. Um, I really like it. I've got a Raspberry Pi in there. I've got a USB hub here that gives me then uh, just a 2 to 1 USB hub. I've got the a uh, wireless USB plugged into the hub and that hub also goes into the printer bot itself and then I've got a camera going into the other USB and that allows me to drive this whole thing using the Octopi distribution um, controlling it from the Octoprint um, UI I can do it from a tablet or anything I have lying around um, the, the downside is this is USB power, so there's another USB thing. Uh, I'm lucky enough to have this plugged into the wall because I have a, a wall outlet that has USB in it. But now that I have the ATX power supply, it should be possible to drive this off the ATX power supply and then have all of this be um, kind of a single powered unit. Um, so I'm just printing out a, uh, a spool coaster here and it's just going and um, you know hopefully when it gets done in theory the bed will cool down out kind of what's the point of this I'm printing PLA right um, when the bed cools down the change in size should cause the print to just pop off I've been going through an enormous amount of blue tape before this and I'm, I'm hoping to be able to have a more durable flat beds a printing surface and uh, easier removal of large flat objects such as this uh, spool coaster um, base that I'm I'm printing.